The operating environment is so important that it will influence the lifespan of SPH. So please don't expose the SPH to the environment of sunshine, rain, and snow. In order to ensure the machine can run normally and easy to operate, please provide adequate space for SPH. Before installation, we need to prepare the tools. Fourteen. First of all, unpacking the SPH package and check whether the unit damaged or missing parts. If happened, please contact the supplier. There are the parts inside the SPH package. There are some connection terminals, including battery connection terminals, PV connection terminals, PV switch, antenna, USB for local firmware updates, RS232 Wi-Fi for communication accessories. DIP for safety standard of different countries, dry contact, AC grid connection port, EPS output connection port, emergency power supply, and communication terminals including CAN for grow watt lithium battery, RS485 reserved for communication, DRMS only for Austria and New Zealand market 3, meter 1 and meter 2 for three-phase smart meter, NTC reserved for lead acid battery temperature sensor. Make sure the PV switch is off. Similar to the traditional inverter connecting, the input of the PV panel can be realized by using PV terminal. Insert PV panel positive and negative cables into the relative terminal of SPH. Limit. Maximum PV voltage 1000 volts. Maximum PV input current 12 amperes. Maximum PV input power per stream 6500 watts. Remark: We suggest you use the cable greater than 4 square millimeters to 12 AWG to connect. The battery terminal is similar to the PV input can be realized by using PV terminal. 2. Insert battery positive and negative cable into the relative battery terminal of SPH. Limit. Battery voltage range 100 to 550 volts. Max battery input current 25 ampere. Max battery input power 10,000 watts. We suggest you use the cable greater than or equals to 4 square millimeters per 10 AWG to connect. SPH has an AC grid terminal and an EPS output terminal. We can follow this AC wire suggestion to choose suitable cable. Confirm the L1, L2, L3 and PE port of the connection terminal. Thread cables through a pressure screw, seal ring, threaded sleeve in sequence. Insert cables into connection terminal according to polarities indicate on it and tighten the screws. Push and rotate threaded sleeve on to connection terminal until both are locked tightly. Plug the socket into AC output terminal. Clockwise rotation to tighten socket. Counterclockwise rotation to loosen the socket. Same as the on-grid connection terminal installation. Tight the threaded sleeve into the off-grid connection terminal and plug the socket into EPS outlet terminal. Caution. No matter the grid is available or outage, make sure to isolate EPS load from both the public grid and the SPH AC grid terminal. Dismantle the waterproof cover. Thread cables through the threaded sleeve, seal ring, and waterproof cover. The CAN cable is used for the communication between the inverter and the battery. Meter cable is used for communicating with smart meter. Connect the CAN meter cable into the corresponding terminal as illustrated and tighten the waterproof. The grounding connector is at the bottom of the SPH. 